Fertilization typically takes place in the upper part of the oviduct. Cleavage begins as the zygote moves through the oviduct toward the uterus. Continued mitotic divisions produce a ball of 16 to 32 cells, called a morula. By the fifth day, a blastula has formed, with a surface layer of cells surrounding a fluid-filled blastocele and an inner cell mass. About a week after fertilization, implantation is underway. The blastocyst adheres to the endometrium that lines the uterus and begins to send out projections into the maternal tissues. As implantation proceeds, the inner cell mass develops into an embryonic disc that is two cell layers thick. This will give rise to the embryo. Membranes start to form around the embryonic disc. The amniotic cavity will fill with fluid and cradle the embryo. The yolk sac will function in blood cell formation. Spaces in the maternal tissue around the implanting blastocyst open and fill with blood. Inside the blastocyst, a chorionic cavity opens around the amnion and yolk sac. The membrane that lines this cavity is the chorion. It will become part of the placenta.